We've got two teams trying to stay out of the basement of the America East here in Durham tonight. And we've got one player trying to rewrite the history books as it's the New Hampshire Wildcats playing host to the Hartford Hawks here tonight from Lundholm Gymnasium. I'm Cameron Beal with Jeff Poster alongside. And Jeff, we've got two teams each trying to find their way here in 2022. Yeah, it's been a tough go at here early on for both these teams. Though Hartford coming in, they got their first win the other night, so they're gonna try and ride a little momentum as to take a look at the standings. And as we take a look at this, you see New Hampshire actually has the better overall record at three and 12, but Hartford, like we said, notched their first win one game ago. And so that conference record, you know, trumps the overall record. So that's why they sit two spots ahead of the Wildcats in the standings right now. And in terms of players, we're gonna keep an eye on tonight, Jeff for the roadside, it's the captain. It's Abby Streeter averaging 10 and a half points a game for the Hawks. Yeah, he said 10 and a half just over that. She's their leading scorer. Kind of the biggest role on and off the court. She's actually just came out. They said she's looking to become a coach someday and they kind of need, always good to have that on-court leadership and she can get them kind of grounded and real against UNH tonight. For the home side, it's the point guard, Amanda Torres, who sits just nine points away from reaching that 1,000 point mark. And you better believe that she knows it too. And we'll see if that affects her at all tonight. Sometimes the players are coming up on those, those milestones. It can, it can weigh on them a little bit. So nine points isn't a lot, but it can also seem like it's a very far away at the same time. And we are just about set to go here from Lundholm Gymnasium. Talia Davis gets the start at center tonight over Ivy Gogolin. And the ball is up and we are underway. The Hawks have it first. 